Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Julian Araujo, as it has been reported that the Barcelona's 21-year-old right back is on the radars of Aridivisi clubs, as, of course, they are up, Barca is currently open for an exit for the player. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, we are going to be talking about Nico Gonzalez, as it has been reported that the Barca midfield prodigy is not in manager Javi's plans and he's been pursued by five clubs currently. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified. Whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have decided to escalate the player exit in order to lighten the team before the start of preseason for the 2023-24 season. And one player who is on the verge of facing the axe is Julian Araujo. The 21-year-old who joined Barcelona in February this year is here to make his debut for the senior team. And Sport has indicated that the Blaugrana are now looking for a way out for him. In this regard, the aforementioned outlet claims that Aridivisi Giants Feyenoid are very much interested in his acquisition. The current Dutch champions are extensively hunting for a right back and they have identified three players, namely Joshua Brennett of FC Twente, Hugo Secret of Standard Liège and Barcelona's Araujo. They understand that given the performances of Brennett and Secret last season, they could require significant financial backing. But this is not the case with Araujo. Given that his transfer was not ratified by FIFA due to delays in filing paperwork, Araujo did not play a single competitive game in the second half of the season, although his call-ups to the Mexican national team have been frequent. Now, what gives Feyenoid the edge is this deal is the presence of Santiago Jimenez on the roster, the Mexican forward spent a fantastic season with Feyenoid last term, and it would not be a surprise if Araujo decided to join him in Aridivisi. The reports that Feyenoid have received about Araujo are good, and there are high chances that Barcelona will sanction the sale if the price is right. Right now, Xavi is looking for a suitable right back, and Araujo is not a front runner for the spot. Even if he is, it would take a significant amount of time for him to settle into the first team. This is why the team from Catalonia have established contacts with Ivan Fresneda of Real Valladolid. Right now, if Barca decides to reinforce the right-back spot, Fresneda will get all the preference. Of course, Julian Araujo have been, I would say, sorry to call this useless signing. At the end of the day, I have seen no reason why Barca will go for Julian Araujo. He came in February just this year. And what is the essence of bringing a player and you are already considering selling him? Like it was a useless decision, to be honest. Pardon me for saying such. Because at the end of the day, Julian Araujo, his signing made no sense. Because Xavi does not even, tr- does not even want to try him to even play, to even start considering if he, he has the potential to to play for the first team and normally signing him definitely translates that there was something they saw there was something good about the player that they saw when he played at the MLS and for no reason whatsoever it seems Xavi doesn't care about him even trying to incorporate him to the first team to see how far he can go now with the preseason starting on July 10 for Barca when the tour in USA will start I think it would be a good idea for Xavi to at least, you know, frequently use Julian Araujo at right back to see because who knows, he might do something brilliant there in the games we play and of course he might stand a chance to play as right back for Barca next season because right now we can't say we have any right back. We don't have any, um, we don't have any natural right back. We don't have any natural, Kunde played that position majority of last season but I think the fact that Kunde have said he doesn't want to feel each other again, Xavi should start thinking other alternatives. If Barca are finding it so hard to negotiate with players like Ivan Fresneda or to go for players like Jao Cancelo, which is quite expensive, 
then why shouldn't it be open to players like Julian Araujo, who Barca signed at least with the idea that he will play for first team football? But since so far they haven't even tested him there. So I think the fact that Barca are open to selling the player is so harsh. The player will just come to your club in February, and by July, just four to five months, the club is reportedly open to selling. Like, is this a joke? Is this a joke? We the fans, I don't think we have an opportunity to see the, the, the talent that Julian Araujo has. You know, it even baffled me when Barca were signing a player right from MLS. Many people were shocked about such a move. Um, definitely, it means there was a lot of prospect that Julian Araujo showed that really caught the eyes of the Barca scout. But still, it, does, it still shocked me that Barca will be treating him as if he is no use for a signing and it was like it was useless to sign him in the first place, which I definitely think is not the right way to go about it. So let's see how things go from here on. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Nico Gonzalez is set to return to Barcelona in the next few days in order to get involved in the pre-season camp, which starts on July 10. The 21-year-old spent a successful loan tenure with Valencia. In the previous campaign on Sport, believed that this was this has aroused several top seaters. Um, now it is one thing that Valencia finished a lowly 16 in La Liga term last season, but Nico's individual performances has convinced the Mastaya based team to try to extend his loan for one more season. However, they are not alone in wanting to sign Nico. Fellow La Liga clubs Real, Real Betis, Villarreal and Real Sociedad are also keen on the 21-year-old Why Portuguese heavyweight FC Porto have also thrown their hat in the ring. As far as the midfielder is concerned, Sport claims that he prefers to stay at Barcelona as he wishes to earn a place in the first team, something which he also admits is not going to be easy. It is indeed true that Sergio Busquets' departure has left a hole in the team, but the Blaugrana are scouring the market for a defensive midfielder to fill that void. As things stand, a certain Oriol Romeo seems to be topping the list. It is said that Xavi would, um, would any day prefer the experience of Romeo over Nico Gonzalez. Furthermore, Ilkay Gundogan Sarava has only strengthened the midfield department further. Hence, the La Masia glory does not belong in the manager's plans for next season. And as such, another loan exit becomes in the coming days. Thankfully, though, Nico is certainly not short of options. Valencia, Val Sociedad, Betis, Villarreal are also keeping a close tab on him. In addition, FC Porto are maintaining interest as well. A move to one of these clubs would see the Barca young star play European football, which would be good for his development and keep him in good state of when he returns to the club after his loan stint. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.